like to start right here with the gooseneck. The gooseneck, in my opinion, is the most important thing that you have when it's when, it, when the wind is at uh, you know zero to twelve. It's very simple. It's depending on your size. It's somewhere between fourteen and seventeen inches in the in the lighter condition. Now um, this is on a website. And there's more like very detailed rigging stuff. So, but you know, feel free to take notes, ask questions uh, as we go along. But this this one adjustment, which can be adjusted while racing, usually if you're going to adjust it, it would be like before you go up wind while you're still on four tack, like we are right now. And you could reach up. adjusting it like three or four inches not like you know centimeters or, or in one inches at a time it's not that's it doesn't that that isn't you know relevant that's all here so you, know, you come around all of a sudden it's blowing 20 and it was blowing you know 12 to 15 and now it's you know up around 20 you need you need to get the boat balanced what this does is it either it, it reduces the amount of sail when you move the sail plan forward and, and it reduces the amount of helm. The further, the, the confusing thing to a non sunfish sailor is the further back the gooseneck is. The gooseneck's not moving anywhere. The sail is moving forward of the mast, which is what gooseneck back is. So basically, you're going to start in 14, 16 inches, which you, most of the boats are probably already written on, which is measured right where the, the spar starts. And you're going to go somewhere in there in, in the light condition. 14 to 16, maybe 17 if you're, if you're, uh, if you're uh, under 150 pounds, it probably doesn't make a much of a difference, but when, there start to, when you start to get into waves, you need to be back, I think, I think around 17, just to keep the boat naturally balances around there with, when there are waves, no matter what the conditions are, unless it's you know, the zero. So starting at light air, forward, the gooseneck 22 23 inches when it's very breezy and the telltale the, the, it tells you whether whether that's um, right it's, it's going to start by going on starboard because the, the sails not up against the mast and that's going to be the harder point of sail going to be the one you start on the one you want to keep your lane in so we're on port but but how much is the tiller pulling when i'm fully hiked out how, Pulling the tiller out of my hand, obviously you have too much helm, and you have to move the, go the, go the gooseneck aft, or the, the spar forward to the gooseneck. Does anybody have any? You want to get it so that you can comfortably sail hike down. So maybe weird in lighter air if you have it too far, if, if the sail is too far forward, or the gooseneck, you can call it back. If it's too far back, like it's at 17, and other people are pointing higher than you. Gooseneck maybe too far, you might have to move further forward. I didn't find that. Uh, well, I would say I sailed at uh, 14, 15 inches when it was 0 to 5. And, and with these sails. And the world's sails are a little flatter, but these are regular racing sails. And they tend to uh, fit right into the numbers that we're discussing. 15, 16, I don't think it really makes a whole lot of difference whether it's one or the other. And you start to balance it out as the breeze increases. You'll probably be behind 20 if, if, it's, if you're really being tough. But I would say that if you weigh over 170 pounds and you're pretty tall, you can do everything you need to do by getting the gooseneck right. B, using bang, which I'll discuss in a second. Holding the out hole tight enough to keep the sit in the sail flat. Flatten the sail. You don't have to up your gooseneck where you have you know, a, a, a period of time where you're overpowered. You pull really hard on, on, the, on the cutting hand for that period, you can get by. That, that's 